I think I remember seeing that. Gotta hold the line. I can't even hold the line against league opponents. Dead the S percent won't let me draw a card, so playing against Rhinos probably. See if they ice me here. No ice. Let's start with Cigar Disease. Island Cycle. As per Sentinel, go. The next turn, I can go Stoneforge Mystic. Hammer. Stick it on Esper Sentinel. Draw Mini Card. Many, 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 many card. Could have Force Negation. I also have Subtlety. Subtlety be a big problem here. This is assuming they have some sort of free interaction. Yep. Ah, uh, shit. If I keep this on top, I kind of have to. Don't really get a choice here. As long as they don't make more rhinos, but I mean, they pitch shardless agents, so they're probably going to make more rhinos. Just have like Vaughn uppers here. You do get the pass here. Honestly, I think most of this format's really cool right now. I just think Rhinos is dumb. And by Rhinos, I mean Violent Outburst. Violent Outburst is dumb. This is a good Hammer matchup. I honestly don't think so. I don't know. I haven't played enough Hammer to know. I think that's just gonna kill me. Ginger Brew, Hammer. So I got a block with Stone Forge. Unless they have fire for Stone Forge, also. Yeah, I mean Cascade should have stayed as a sorcery. I don't think anybody's like really disputing that. It should have, and it's a war crime that it hasn't. Nah, kill me anyways. Could've just fired the blocker, but that's fine. Spell Pierce in... Return target spell to its owner's hand. Grand the Magistrate. Okay, what can go? Ornithopter... I think Forge Anu can be trimmed. Surge is probably going to be better post board. Steel Shaper sucks. I think I kind of want to go down to two Surges. Although Cryptic Coat's really bad too. I'm just going to take out Cryptic Coat. I don't think this is a Cryptic Coat matchup. I guess for demonstration purposes, just to see how good the card is, let's take out a Surge of Salvation instead. I don't think Cryptic Coat is good, but I do want to test it. So I'm going to leave it in. Massacre, thank you for the follow. Chat, if you haven't yet followed, consider hitting that follow button. We're on our way to 10k. Which would be an awesome milestone to hit. As I descend into darkness. 
I mean, Surge is okay, right? But at the same time, I think we're probably going to need to pretty aggressively tap out. I don't know how often we're going to have the mana to hold up Surge. Sounds good. Uh oh, I just unplugged my laptop. I probably just made it lag considerably. That's an aggro force. I don't know, evidently failure is taking that place, right? Of the reprieve remand slot. I don't know how if failure is better or worse. It just seems like it's different to me. Probably better against Cascade and worse against everything else. Get the minor upside of getting the uh, aftermath of comply. And then if you're going to lose, like, I don't know, Force of Vigor, for example, you can name Force of Vigor before going off, or uh, you could name Rhinos, and then they can't cast Rhinos until next turn. I think I actually should have cast Esper Sentinel here. Not casting Esper Sentinel might have been a mistake. Echoing Truth and the Creativity Sideboard. Um, yeah, I can see it. Clean answer to Rhinos. I guess if you're also playing Black, you could play Legion's in. That's also a pretty clean answer to Rhinos. Hammer. I personally just really hate playing reactive cards in Hammer in general, which is why I don't like playing Solitude. And I don't like cards like this that require me just to like hold up mana and do nothing. Failure. Draw a card. In certain spots, they are good. Like, the failure was good here. If they don't have a Shardless Agent. If they just, like, untap and slam Shardless Agent, then I'm just in trouble again, right? I have Fire Ice. So I can hit the Suspended Rhinos with Comply by naming Crashing Footfalls four turns down the line. I don't know if that'll actually come up or not. But it's cool to know if it does come up. Tidebinder's fine. I'm a little bit surprised they didn't try to flash it and eat the Esper Sentinel. I'm glad that they didn't. Just a wee bit surprised. Shock swing. Mm hmm. They have subtlety. Or fire ice plus paying for both Esper Sentinels. My guess is subtlety. Bye, subtlety. I can pitch cast subtlety. Doesn't do much for them, though. Put some to two, one here. I'm not going to move the hammer either. I'm just going to leave the hammer here. Guarantee a card draw from the next spell they cast. I think the card draw is like somewhat valuable here. Flame of Anor, holy bejeebus. That's the wrong Esper Sentinel. So they floated an extra mana and let me draw two anyways. This uh, ginger brew's actually gonna kill them. Funny enough.
going to name Subtlety with one. I'm going to name Dead Gone with the other. Okay, I guess I'm naming Dead. Because Gone's a different spell, right? Ginger Brute. Cool. Well, I accidentally clicked submit, but I don't think I'm changing it anyways. I'm just gonna run it back. Good looks for comply. Naming subtle, excuse me, subtlety and dead. Just locked up that game. Since sure they had no interaction for me. Once I crossed the finish line. Ten has no blue mana. I'm gonna keep it though. I draw blue mana. This hand becomes really good. A little bit hesitant on Surge of Salvation here. So they suspended rhinos and passed the turn. Force negation pitch subtlety again. They're not about these cigar disease. Yeah, the curve is a little bit higher in this hammer build, right? Because you have cryptic code and you have multiple copies of Forge Anu. And grab Cauldre here. Never mind. I'll grab a hammer. I don't really like their F6 value. And they didn't even F6 either. It's just, excuse me. They should have definitely waited for me to uh, grab my stuff first because I would have grabbed Cauldra. Now I gotta beat two rhinos. Land. Yay. Ginger Brute. Do I have the Ink Moth kill next turn with Spell Pierce and Surge back up? But I have to untap the Pierce of Paladin, which might be kind of tough here. All it takes is like one fire ice, one flame, one dead gun, one blood moon. So I can go S percent old ginger brute. Equip. Smack move over to S percent old. Yeah, the Blood Moon cuts them off of green mana. So they need exactly Flame to survive or... Something. Them not having Cascade doesn't really matter here. They'd be dead through Cascade spell. Gone would do it. Tidebinder would do it. Forest does not. Now they got a forest. Watch out. They're going to murder you. All right. Ginger Brew MVP of this game. This match in general. Ginger Brew did so much work here. Sacrifice Ginger Brute.
gain two life or gain three life. Adios, rhinos. Sounds really good. Any hand with cigar to Zaid and many Stoneforge Mystics is just a snap keep every single time. I don't know. I kind of feel like Hammer does okay against Rhinos. It depends on how many Force of Vigors they draw. They just have a ton of Force of Vigors. You're never going to win. Funeral Charm. I'm never going to win. How do I ever beat Funeral Charm? Yeah, it feels pretty even to me. At least from the small amount I played so far. It reacts pretty good right now. I have a hard time believing that. I hope BFG's in the chat to hear that too. I guess Liliana of the Veil isn't terrible because Liliana Edict makes them sack uh, Scion, right? So if they have Leyline Scion, Liliana's just somehow surprisingly amazing against that. Yeah, pick your poison's good against Rainbow Rhinos. I'd board it in. Here's a saga, sure. Liliana. I'm going for it next turn. I have Surge of Salvation back up. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. I will not be going for it then. I was thinking I had one more mana than I actually did. Smallpox. Stoneforge, give me a second hammer. So that way I can be immune to Thoughtseize. Smallpox was probably the best draw. It was very strong there. Mistress Factory, 1, 2, 3, Lilian of the Veil. Edict. Land wins me the game. Land one time. Hey. Game two. Surge, March, Needle, Opti's out, Spring Leaf out, Steel Shaper's Gift out, Submit. I always just default to cutting the Ornithopters because I think they suck most of the time. This card sucks. Sometimes. Black Red Coffers 8 Rack with Rakdos Return. Sounds like an impending Dono deck. Oh look, Card Hoarder. You're, you missed your window, Card Hoarder. I love you, but... You missed your window, Mulligan. I think I was going to keep this hand against 8 Rack. I feel like Mulligan against 8 Rack is like doom. It's got Esper Sentinel on Wonders of Saga. I'm going to keep it against 8 Rack. If it were like any other deck, I would Mulligan... Against 8 rack, I think I keep this. Pretty good. Right, turn 1, S% on the play. Nah, I'm hoping to leave with Cigar to Zayden instead. Just because I think that card's more valuable. If they are going to thought seize me. It's always so funny to me when a rack just like plays their artifacts. They're like Shadow Spear. Go. <laughs> I 
You know, playing Ink Moth might have been better than playing Urza Saga here. If I played Ink Moth, then I just had the kill lined up through Liliana. Neither of them are great against Smallpox, though. One black. Blood Chief's Thirst. My hammer. Alright, now I'm glad I played Urza Saga because I'm just gonna start making idiots. Time to produce the ding dongs. Make one A the people. So here's the thing about going for the kill next turn. It's risky. If I don't go for the kill though, I'm just going to make an Urza Saga construct. I'm going to see what I draw. If I draw like Surge of Salvation, freest kill of all time. Oh, they could activate Shadow Spear. Alright, let's go for it. Please don't bow master me. Funeral charm. I'm gonna get blue, white, jam, pure steel. I think we're still pretty far ahead. Barring Fatal Push. I want to jam Pure Seal to be immune to Liliana. No reason not to be. They can make a Construct and Chump Block for a turn. They're dead to me drawing Second Hammer or Shadow Spear. Alright, concedes. Um... No. Yes. The hammer back. Nobody's a hater, except for all the people that are haters. I just realized that my title was missing a close bracket. Yes, lottery ticket time. I don't think it's Cauldre. I think it's just Amber here. I don't know. Blue, white might mean like a counterspell deck. If it's a counterspell deck, then Cauldre might be better. Yeah, me, PT, and Krista. Correct. We've been running really hot today. Correct. None of their lands will untap. Because they are all islands. I kind of wish I had the surveil land here. And tomorrow's going to be an O2 drop. Tomorrow's a new day to lose. You can also boil them. I got boiled myself. Last time I, uh, had Leyline of the Guild back in play. Omen of the Sea, so they're playing Miracles. Which means there's a good chance that I just get Terminus here. I've been terminist. Terminide, if you will.
Thoughts on the next RCU season being Pioneer? Oh, they died. Unless they have Solitude. But I'm not playing around Solitude. I use backwards. I might have done this backwards. If I animated the Ink Moth first and then played Pure Steel Paladin, I mean, they can just hit the Ink Moth, right? It sucks. And the Solitude. Um, I figured it'd be modern because Modern Horizons 3 is coming out soon. Well, the Pro Tour is modern, right? And the Pro Tour being modern is really cool. I don't know. I don't mind it too much. For it being Pioneer, I actually think Pioneer is pretty fun right now. Or as fun as it's been in the minute anyways. I just have like no reason to play Pioneer. I'll probably play the Pioneer RCQ season. I forgot to attack him with Ink Moth. I'm just going to give up this Ascanta activation. I don't think I'm ever winning this game. I do think Pioneer is pretty fun right now. I don't have a problem with Pioneer. Which is weird coming from me. Terminus was just insane there also. I mean, every format has its problems, right? A wise person once said, There's bullshit in every format. Just play whatever format that you're willing to tolerate the bullshit in. I might keep his hand against blue-white. I think so. I hope that Urza Saga carries me. Where's my survey land? I fail to believe that a blue-white survey land's that bad. Popper, huh? Mm-mm. I hate Popper. Popper's just, like, the grindiest thing of all time. For no reason. Am I getting marged? Jeez. More lands. I guess I'm gonna fetch before they have Tide Binder. I don't think they're playing Tide Binder, but I might as well play around Tide Binder. I'm just gonna grab a hammer. A double pure steel in hand. Land would surveil two in Modern Horizons 3. Let's go. That's what I want to see. Very playable. It's a lot of pure steel balance. Who doesn't like turn 35 of Turbo Fog versus Jessica Ephemerate? Mm -mm. You think standard's grindy, and then it's like you see that, and you're like, oh, that's even more grindy. It's a subtlety. Wandering Emperor. Holy shit. Is this standard?
They're playing Supreme Verdict and Terminus. Kind of cringe. White, white, blue, 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 solitude. Mm. Now's your time to shine, cryptic coat. Flips in the giver. Now you're right there, kind of the superior blue white deck. Cryptic Command. This is the second time I've gotten Cryptic Commanded in two days. Why? Cryptic Command, the Cryptic Coat. Oh, it makes sense. That's the only way you can beat a Cryptic Coat. Jesus Christ. Now there's an omen in the terminus. Scrap two to the bottom. Cryptic commands a base card. Don't hate it. No. Nobody playing Cryptic Command is up to any good. The last time Cryptic was good... Was the Mystic Sanctuary came out. And that was not good. That was not good for the format. It's fine. It's a lot of omen to see. Yes, snap, cryptic, bounce, snap. Used to be insane. Four mana is this cryptic. Jesus Christo, bro. Yo, Sprouts, thank you for the seven months. Dingo Diage. Next up, I want to play Miracles. I hope so. I hope it's Living End. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe it's Rhinos. Fingers crossed it's Rhinos. Not something I thought I would say. 
I really hope I'm playing against rhinos right now. Ah, uh, fucking living end, bro. Aya. Okay. Well, I can sack Ginger Brew, but that leaves him. That involves keeping two mana on top. I'm just gonna smack him with a hammer and a shadow spear. Whatever happens next happens. That's future Dingo's problem. Oh. They weren't dead. They go to one. Weird. Dranith Magistrate spell pierce failure to comply. I mean, okay, I guess. Yo, Somers, thank you for the five bomb. Ah, oh, yo, I appreciate it. Thank you. Very generous. I actually think I want gift over surge. Cauldra can also be taken out in this matchup, and so can Cryptic Goat. Cryptic Goat might be good, though. I could see, like, random situations where Cryptic Goat ends up being good. Yeah, third land was a fetch, maybe. I don't know, they go to two, right? 11, 12, yeah. They go to two. Tap land, grief you. Yo, Sprouts, thanks for gifting 10. Ugh. Uh, Jackoy, Bangles, HNDK, Miggy, Nadu, Mr. DZ, Jet Jenga, Josh, Moxless Guy, and Antonio. Congrats on getting the subs. Daisy with the hydrate. Well, am I getting hydrated or am I getting dazed? Would you rather play Bant Stoneblade, Esper Stoneblade, or Jeskai Stoneblade? Probably Esper. I think Bowmaster's really good right now. It's almost cat year time. Hi, Krista. Gift? Per se? I think I'm just gonna get a hammer here. I still have the cat ears open in the tab chat. We can make it happen. Failure to comply. Alright, let me hold that up. Well. Nah. I'm playing Stoneforge. I don't think they have it on three. Or if they do have it on three, it's not going to be for very much. Cauldra Cryptic Coat. Uh, you have an Esper Stone Blade list I'd like to try? Sure. I have to do it tomorrow, though, Somers, if that's fine. But I'd be more than happy to give it a spin if you want to link it. In the chat. Considering the early start, how long are you streaming for? Right now, I've been live for seven hours. I was going to end, like... I was shooting end around, like, 8 Eastern, 9 Eastern, which is about right now. But I'm going to finish this league, of course. Uh, you link me Bant Stone Blade. Do you want me to play Bant or Esper? Okay, you want Esper. I think Cosmic Rebirth is sweet, though. I just think Bowmaster is like... I think that was also Bant. Yeah, that was also Bant. Surprised that Living End's playing Flame. And you killed Slayer with that link. Excellent. Alright, Esper. There we go. Four Bowmasters. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to add. was like Thoughtseize and Bowmaster. Yo, Sprouts, thank you for the 300 bits as well. Very generous, Sprouts. Thank you. Passing of the turn. If they Violent Outburst me, that's fine. I'm still going to make my 1-1. One, one. I think I'm taking Springleaf Drum for Spell Pierce. This game. Guess not. 
You know what? I probably should have played planes this turn. That was a mistake on my part. Cryptico. Play hammer. Pump this. Smack him. Pass. Six days until our anniversary. What'd you get me? I hope it's a sub. Flame draw two. That's fine. I want to pump this. I just want to hold up failure. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna spell pierce that. Four one four one zero four drop. What happened? <laughs> it was so promising until it wasn't. Okay, they didn't sweep away my board. Excellent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have activated any Poth Nexus. I missed opponent damage. Minus one. Kek L. I think I'm just passing. I could play Esper Sentinel out, though. Too little too late, though. If I was going to play Esper Sentinel, I should have done it pre-combat. Sunk cost fallacy, not going to play it anymore. This pass. Instead, I'm probably just going to make another dude. And hold up failure. Failure. Oh, do I still have that failure? I'm totally popping that up if I cast it. This is the least creatures I've seen in the Living End graveyard. So they're just playing like flames instead. I don't think flames are very good in Living End at all. Some people like play it in the sideboard, but I don't get it. You have no wizards. Except for Architects of Will. And the card's like not particularly powerful if you're just casting it to draw two. Better cards you can play instead. I guess if there's a lot of magistry, it makes sense. Prediction time chat. Will we 4 1? Yes, no, let me know. But I guess Prismari Command doesn't actually deal with magistry. Yeah, it doesn't deal with magistry. What's today, chat? Is it Wednesday? Is it Wii Shop Wednesday? It is Wii Shop Wednesday. Let's go! I don't want to get spell pierced. I'm just going to pass. I don't know if they're playing Living In. Or if they're playing Rhinos. Or if they're playing Merc Tide. It could be the one of like four decks. More living end. What is this personal hell that I've been placed into? I don't like it here. It's scary and full of living end. How do we win earlier against living end? Our opponent didn't do anything. I don't think they cast the card living end a single time. Can actually flash in this cryptic coat, which is kind of nice. Cool Omnat deck, thank you, man. I don't think I'm flashing this cryptic coat if there's gonna violent outburst me. Violent outburst. No responses. So, Flash and Cryptic Coat, I hope to draw a Hammer or Pierce the Paladin. Attacking him with Coat is going to do 2 damage, because they have the Waker. This is assuming they don't force the Coat in the first place. I might be Coatless.
Let's see if I want to block. I doubt I want to block, but I might. I'm going to run the no blocks. I right, need one more artifact, right, for pure steel. So, hammer, stoneforge, or bust? Saga. Let's be pick up code and recast it. Jump block. Rancor. But like a cool one. Tries one to the top. I'm going to take this opportunity to put the cryptic goat back into play. Because they can't hard cast force negation right now. Find my best opportunity. Nah, I don't think Leyline of the Guild Pack should be banned. I think it's fine. Power level wise. I think Violent Outburst needs to get fucking banned. Violent Outburst is a war crime. But that's besides the point. Move the coat. Mm, if I stack him the other way, I could have moved the coat over. Even that, I'm only hitting him for two, though, which is not lethal. I didn't think of that. But yeah, you're right. Spell Pierce, Spell Pierce, Granite times a million, this, out you, and you, and maybe Yip's fun. I think Gibber kind of sucks. Cryptic Coat's not great, Cauldra can go, and then like one Surge maybe. Hands good. Hands less good. Yeah, Waker of Waves giving stuff minus o or minus one minus o is very relevant sometimes. Like right there is unbelievably relevant. I just top decked Granite Magistrate. <laughs> Put it in the play. I don't think they could beat that. Maybe they have flame. Flame is certainly their way to beat it. Would live that one because of Waker. Dismember? What the f- Bro, what? Okay. I'm not casting Ginger Brew, I'm gonna die. Dismember? Come on. Come on. Cut your boy some slack. Ingot Chewer, that's fine. Killing the hammer. Don't they know I have a Forge Anew in hand? I'm pretty sure they saw a Forge Anew. Maybe they haven't answered the Forge Anew. I 
have a generous end in here as well. Cycle street race, so they're gonna be at one. Oh, I shouldn't have played Spring the Drum. I didn't play Spring the Drum, I had, had lethal. I guess they wouldn't have cycled the street race. And I didn't keep Besaju. Okay, we beat the Dismember. Which is more than I was expecting. I'm gonna keep it. It's got a Spell Pierce, it's got an Esper Sentinel. And it's got a Cigar to Zade, so it has, like, decent top deck potential. The mana's a little bit clunky. Man is a little less clunky. <laughs> when they play Dismember instead, you lose it. Okay, I don't, I don't expect them to play either, I guess. But it makes sense now that, like, Draneth Magistrate's everywhere. But of course I'm going to complain. That's what I do. Okay, Cigar is 8 sticks. What's the point of playing Magic if I can't complain about how lucky my opponent is? I gotta meet my bitching quota for the day. They've been forests. Which concerns me. Oh, train at Magistrate. Pause champ. Oh, spell pierce back up. That's insane. Just what a what a ridiculous two draw steps to have. I ain't getting dismembered. That's for sure. I'll put a spear on the homie. All my homies get spears. Force of Vigor, Esper Sentinel. Okay, pay the tax, and then I'm probably just gonna spell pierce this. Force Pitching Force. Ah, oh, they have Dismember too. It's fucked up. I wasn't gonna be able to spell pierce Dismember on Untap, so. I thought it was a fine gamble. Goes to six. Paladin number two. Paladin. A knife on Esper Sentinel. Attack them. Sorcery Speed Cascaders are so much easier to deal with than Instant Speed Cascaders. Footfalls was a mistake. I agree. Footfalls added nothing to the format. Except for pain and suffering. I'm actually not swinging with Ginger Brew here. And the reason I'm not swinging with Ginger Brew 
is because I can sacrifice it if they do living end me. And then if I sacrifice it, I can get it back and potentially kill them with a hammer. I put dismember to the graveyard. They could actually just cast dismember. Ah, we beat living in twice. Wowie. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Not many hammer decks can uh, say they beat living in twice, huh? In the same league. Solid list. I liked it. I don't know where it went. It's gone now. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore.